Well, in this video, I'm hoping to introduce you to three products that you may have seen before, but I don't know if you've ever been out and tested them all side by side, which is exactly what I plan to do in this video. Now, these are products that you're gonna wanna use on your warm season grasses. These are not for cool season grasses. And whether or not you have all three of these products or not, I, I don't know, but I think it's interesting to me to be able to see on the actual video which ones work the best in this situation. So I'm gonna introduce you to three products. We're gonna test them out on two different weeds and I'm going to have to define the word weed because one of you may say, well, this is not a weed to you, but it may be a weed to me, and I can explain that. And then we're just going to spray the weeds, and we're going to come back, and we're going to see which one of the three products works the best on these two different weeds. One of them may work better on one weed, and one may work better on the other. I'm not sure. I'm interested to see how the video ends myself. Today's video is sponsored by Graham Spray Equipment. You can see my spray rig on the back of my truck. I'm in the weed control and fertilization business. If you need a rig for your business, then go to GrahamSE.com or give those guys a call. For the two weeds we're going to talk about, the first one's going to be rye grass. And you may say, Jason, rye grass is not a weed. That's what a lot of people have for their lawn. It looks great. Well, it does look great. But in a Bermuda lawn, which is what we're dealing with today, sometimes you get the cool season grasses that pop up and they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So uh, in this situation, a, a weed is an unwanted plant and we don't want this rye grass showing up in the Bermuda. Now, the trick of this is I actually planted the rye grass, but I want to see if this situation came up in a lawn, what is going to be the go-to product to get rid of that rye grass. The other weed, I don't know hardly anybody who doesn't think it's a weed or most people would agree with it. I've even heard it described as possibly one of the worst weeds in the world and that is poa annua also known as annual bluegrass or we just call it poa p-o-a poa and I want to uh, show you both these weeds and then we're going to test out three products. So let me show you the products, then we'll show you the weeds, then we'll spray and we'll see the results. Our three products. First up, we got South Paul. Now, this has the same active ingredient in it that is in Certainty. You may hear me talk about Certainty a lot if uh, for dealing with sedges, but it can also be an effective product for dealing with cool season grasses. How well is this going to work? I really don't know. Uh, it also has Metsulfuron in it, so I'm curious to see. I don't think this is the exact situation that South Paul. Uh, is going to shine the brightest in. It's very good for other situations. Uh, again, for sedge control and just spot treating weeds in the in the warmer months, I think it's a great product for that. But I want to just see how it does in this situation. Uh, tribute total, this is going to be for only Bermuda and Zoysia lawn. Same thing for the next product, which is Revolver. So tribute total is kind of my go-to for getting rid of Dallas grass in the yards. But as the name suggests, total, it's more than just a Dallas grass product. It's actually good for broadleaf weeds, grassy weeds, and sedges. So we want to see uh, how well it works in this particular situation. And then Revolver. Revolver is, in my mind, one of the, the best products out there on the market as far as getting rid of POA annuate from a post-emergent standpoint. So let's try the Revolver, but I want to see how well it does on the ryegrass as well. Now I've already got these mixed up. I've got the actual tribute total in my big spray rig because uh, I was doing an application with that on a specific situation. And the other two I've got spot treating. I'm gonna put some white flags out, but let's show you the weeds. I'm gonna show you what the ryegrass looks like and I'm gonna show you the poa annual. In case you need help identifying, I'll spray them today. It is December when I'm first filming this. The weather is, is not too cold today, but it's about to get cold. I don't expect fast results. I'm not really intending for fast results. I just want to see how fast does it work, which one works better, does one work better on ryegrass and poa, or, or is the same product the best for both these situations. We are applying this in a Bermuda lawn that is mostly dormant at the time of this video. Let's get started. Now, you can see this dormant Bermuda lawn, but I did actually a test. I sprayed some spectacle out here a while back and threw out ryegrass seed to see how much of the spectacle, I'm sorry, how much of the ryegrass would germinate. Well, almost none germinated, except for over here where I think I must have missed a spot with the spectacle because we did get a little patch. So all this little green right here, if you can see, uh, this is our ryegrass. So I've got one patch right here. We're gonna spray, I've got that marked. I got the same situation over here. Again, as you walk there, you start seeing the little green here. So we're gonna spray this green, and I've actually got a lot more ryegrass I can show you as well. You can see in this situation, I intentionally put out a little bit of ryegrass that 
uh, did not have any pre-emerge applied so I could get it to germinate. So we've got a, a pretty good little patch in here. You can see, look at this uh, ryegrass here. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is mark this little section here because this is one of our better patches and spray this. I think what I'm gonna do, I'll do the tribute total over here and then I'll, I'll use the other two products on those other two patches. And look at this pole annual. This is a great example of what the poa looks like. It hasn't quite gone to seed. But you can see that really will stick out in a dormant Bermuda grass lawn. Uh, you can see over here, you know, it doesn't look too terrible now, especially in a cool season lawn. But again, when you've got a dormant warm season grass, it really sticks out. And when it starts going to seed, it's going to look a lot worse than lawn. So I've got plenty of poa here. Let me mark three plots. I'm going to spray it with those same three different uh, products. Okay, so we got them sprayed. Well, we're gonna give this some time. We're gonna check back and we're gonna see the results. Well, I'm back with the results. It's been three to four weeks probably since I did this application. I checked on it after a week and I was like, you know, really not much happening to the visible eye. But I didn't forget about it, but I sort of let it go for a while and I looked back and I said, whoa, I finally see some results. So one thing you need to know is in the, when it's cold weather, cool weather, it's gonna be slow, slow results probably with any of these products. Um, but let's check out the results. We're gonna start with the ryegrass and then we'll move over to the poa annual. Well, first up, um, this is what I came back and saw yesterday. I, I've been out of town for a little while and I came back and looked at it. I said, okay, well, I can actually see something happening here because you can clearly see what was not sprayed, what was not sprayed, what has been sprayed. So I would call that fairly effective. Again, there's a product called Katana that if you're just trying to knock out ryegrass, is really effective. But I would say this was extremely effective as well. I mean, I can see a little bit there, but I wouldn't be surprised if I mowed the grass that that didn't grow back, you know, where this part most likely will grow back. Again, not a super heavy stand of ryegrass here, but which, let's see which one this was. So this was the South Paw, which is gonna, again, have that active ingredient that's in um, certainty in there. So, you know, fairly effective. I would say that was a success. You can clearly see that it worked. Similar results here. You can see where in the middle there it was sprayed. On the outer edges it was not sprayed. And let's see what product this was. This was Revolver. So, again, not just totally dead, but knocked it out. And like I said before, if that grass was cut, I would imagine a lot of that in the center would not grow back where the outer edges would. But visible results, slow, but did work with the Revolver. All right, lastly, this was our biggest stand of ryegrass. Again, none of it very impressive, but this was where I sprayed this. Now it did give results, but honestly not quite as visible results. Now it was more ryegrass. Which one was it? This was the tribute total. So it, it could be just a little bit slower. I don't know, but it does look like it is slowing it down from growing, uh, discoloration, but not quite as shocking results. Would it improve over the next few weeks? Maybe, um, but it just initially looks like the other two products gave us initial uh, better results on this application. Now let's move over and take a look at how it did on the POA annual. All right, here's the POA. Now one thing I've learned about POA, the earlier you can get the application down, the better results. So these are some fairly large plants here and you can see there's some broad leaves in there and they're sort of looking a lot worse than the actual POA. I can see some discoloration in the POA, but not that impressive of results on this mature POA and this was the South Paw. So it did better on the broadleaf weeds, not so great on the POA, just by looking at it. Now this one, this was interesting to me. You see that one looks very large and mature. Doesn't look like it did great. But then over here, it's like much more, you know, improved results, I guess you would say, and even better results on that. So I think if I had to, guess what happened here well, a couple things one I think the grass was mowed probably did not mow that part did mow that part so that's good to see that when it was cut now you're not gonna mow the grass a lot in the winter when you have poa but that it probably uh, suppressed it another thing I could see is possibly these being a little bit smaller plants versus that one and again goes back to the earlier you can get your application down on, on a, as a post emergent for POA, the better results. So this was the tribute total. So again, on smaller plants, 
I think you're gonna get excellent results. Larger plants gonna be much more difficult to control. The last one we can check on will be the revolver. You can see there's a lot of POA in here. It's pretty much all this green stuff is POA. And where we did the application here, you can see some discoloration there uh, where it's turning it yellow. Very slow, very methodical. Probably need to give it a few more weeks to really see it, but uh, is slowing it down. I, again, just showing you earlier is better. You compare that with over here where it hasn't been sprayed at all and it's much greener and growing. What's the lesson? These weeds are slow to die. With the POA in particular, getting that early application, well actually even better than that, get, controlling it with your, your pre-emergent herbicide is, is better. So using something like Spectacle. So with the post-emergent, if you can control it early on with Tribute Total or Celsius or, or yeah, whichever one of these products, the earlier the better as far as the results go. It did work, was not totally blown away by the results. It's a tough weed to control from a post-emergent standpoint. But I hope this video is helpful in showing you the actual results. If you want to get in weed control and fertilization like me, this is one of the weeds you're going to have to know how to deal with is POA, especially if you're dealing with it in warm season grasses. Sometimes the cool season grass, it kind of blends in. It's still a pain, um, but it's definitely a factor for our warm season lawns. I've got some resources over at LawnCareLife.com, including the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. It's a weed control course for those that want to get into weed control and fertilization with warm season grasses. There's also coaching calls over there. You can come ride with me today. There's options if you need help getting into weed control and fertilization. Have the channel, give a thumbs up. We'll see you guys in the next video.